Afternoon all, hope you're all well. I fancied something different today. I really, I was fancied something a bit more like a, a rich kind of smoke. So I was going through my cellar and I've got um, a fair selection of aged tobaccos which I got from the Israti cell. Um, and I was trying to make up my mind which one to go for. This one actually isn't uh, from there. This is, I've just never had these uh, deluxe navy rolls from Dunhill. So I just fancied giving them a try, but I haven't actually, uh, this is from 2017, so really and truly these should have some age. From what I understand, these improve dramatically with age. Um, and then this one I got the other day from Boswell's in modern Virginia. And I was surprised, pleasantly surprised to see that this was a, a 2014 um, 10. So I might go for that. This one comes out of, uh, this is from the Azrati cell. This is um, Mature Virginia HH from McBarron. And this one is from 2010, so there's some decent age on that. And this one, is, which is a departure, which is a McBaron's Burley. This this looks very old. Um, this is still in its original cellophane. It's, it's like a closed cellophane, I think. Um, it says on it, Canada Tobacco, Tobacco, four ounces. It's, um, it, I can only guesstimate, I've got no idea on the age. I don't know how to date it. I'm sure some people will be able to tell from the tin art. Um, but um, I'm going to just give a, an estimate and say about somewhere between 20 and 30 years old. Um, Burleys, though, I don't know. Burleys have got a bit of a reputation but for being sort of more potent. But um, in reality, I don't know if uh, it's not... I don't think it's uh, very widely known, but um, Burleys in Virginia are actually not different in terms of their nicotine content, although Burleys um, pack a powerful punch. Um, but from what I understand, Virginias and Burleys have the same or similar um, nicotine content, but the sugar in the Virginia tobacco acts as a buffer, acts as a retardant, and it, and it slows down um, the release of the nicotine and therefore when you smoke a Virginia it kind of seals in um, the nicotine um, the, the sugar content it seals in the nicotine and it stops you getting that sort of heavy nicotine hit whereas Burley um, some Burleys like um, Old Joe Kranz or Haunted Bookshop these are all sort of reputed to, to pack a punch and that's because they're a, a more savoury um, tobacco they're not sugary they're not sweet and therefore you straight away get that nicotine hit um, but in terms of the actual content Virginia and Burley are, are quite similar from what I understand in, in nicotine content um, but um, that's why with Burleys you're not actually getting more nicotine you're just getting it immediately um, without sort of any restraints so to speak so I've generally um, shied away from Burleys for that reason and also I've a Burley Ford blends I just generally don't like. Um, I've tried a few um, LJ Peretti blends and they're famous for their Burleys, for their Burley blends and people love them because of it if you like Burley. I've so far yet not really discovered Burley if you like uh, in a way that I like it. I've tried it uh, you know plenty times but I just um, don't seem to like it. It's nice in some blends where it gives that nutty sort of um, injection to some blends but not a Burley Ford blend I don't seem to like them so I'm still a little bit undecided as to which one to go for and besides for anything um, until I know the age of some of these I'm a little bit hesitant to uh, to open the tins um, but this one is 2010 I'm kind of tempted to try this one And this one is 2014, so it's, what is it, September 14. So it's uh, nearly two and a half, uh, three and a half years old. I think I'm going to try that one because this one uh, I probably won't be able to get again. Uh, certainly not with this age, not easily. Um, whereas the modern Virginia, I can probably get that and just age it myself. Um, even if I get a fresh tin. So let's give that a go. Right, I don't know where I was up to, I got interrupted, but um, let's get this tin open. Nice 
nice little fizz. Wow, this has got an amazing aroma. What is this? Oh, it's got a topping. Mountain Virginia is made of Virginia something or other probably out of several continent, continents a bright yellow dark Virginia been used in combination with a modern Cavendish touch of barely ensures a soft and smooth smoke natural sweet taste with a delectable, just detectable topping of sweet ripe fruit okay well in the tin note that's straight at you it's like um, apricots sweet apricots yeah, very much like sweet apricots. I mean, the the papers are already starting to brown, which is a good sign. It's a ribbon cut. So what we have here is a, a very fine cut ribbon cut. Um, the colours have kind of melded into one sort of brownness. There are some darker, um, there's probably the Cavendish and you've got some brighter lemony kind of bright Virginias but they've already darkened and kind of stewed in, in, in their juices for a while and you can see that the, the overall colour is a little bit darker. That aroma is delicious. It really is like apricot jam. Um, so we're going to use the Escorti, I haven't used it for a while, um, I think I've only really smoked it once since I got it as an estate pipe and um, this stuff is a very really slight bit of moisture in there but we can pack a bowl. Get it lit and we'll come back. Well, smoked it down a little bit. Um, you do have to be very careful with this, you really have to sip it very gently because it will bite. This McBrown lives up to its name of McBite. Perhaps a little drying out time will help it, um, but it, uh, you do have to sip it. But when you sip it, it's got some really nice flavors. That uh, fruity flavour comes through quite nicely. Um, a lot of aromatics smell and promise so much in the aroma but don't deliver in the actual smoke. This one is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Only slight downside for me on this one is the burley. Um, it's got a little bit of a dryness to it, which some people might call the nutty flavour. And I generally tend not to uh, get on with that. I mean I wouldn't not smoke it because of it but it's just not my particular preference. The Virginias um, kind of under underlie the overall flavour profile but I'm not getting a huge grassy note. because the topping does overlay the whole flavour profile and then it's um, the next kind of flavour which hits you or sensation which hits you is that sort of dry burly kind of sensation and that's what leaves me kind of a little bit uh, unimpressed it just leaves my mouth, leaves my mouth dry with us, that savoury note even though it's sweet if that makes any sense Plenty of smoke output. I imagine dried this would be um, a bit better, perhaps not as bitey. 
and I'm not experiencing huge tongue bites. I am using a filter, so it's manageable, but as I said, it needs to be sipped. It would probably also be advantageous to smoke this in a thick, bold, rusticated pipe as opposed to smooth, for the reasons that I mentioned the other day in one of my videos. There is a certain spiciness to it as well, if you draw in a little bit more, rather than sipping, you do get a little bit of a spicy note to it as well, a little bit of a, a white pepper, almost right at the top edge of the fruity flavour. As I'm smoking my way through it, it's, beca it's becoming more interesting. A little bit more of a deeper flavour coming out. There's definitely uh, a spicy note there, which I think is, is added to with retrohaling. Anyway. This wasn't really supposed to be a first impressions as such, um, but it was just kind of a decision of which one to smoke, but it's kind of turned into a first impressions. Um, so what I would say about this blend is the sweetness and the fruitiness, as promised on the tin, is there for a change. You do get those flavors really, and they're very nice. The fruit has a slight spicy edge to it, slight peppery edge to it. It does make my tongue and my palate a little bit dry, which will be the burlies. But I can live with that. And as you go down the bowl, it does acquire a little bit more depth and just becomes a little bit more rich. And that's nice. Um, I wouldn't describe this as a crossover to Virginia's if you're s sort of on aromatics and you want to move into Virginia's. I would say it is in terms of getting used to the, how a Virginia smokes and how it behaves, but not in terms of the flavor profile. The, the, the topping here is quite, uh, quite present. And for me, it masks a fair amount of the Virginia flavors. But in terms of how a Virginia burns, in terms of training yourself to sip and how to pack and how to light, whilst not necessarily going full hog into Virginia flavors, yeah, I think that would be a, a way to go. There's enough sweetness and aromatics in here to make it, I mean, strictly speaking, it's an aromatic. So yeah, I don't think that's basically it really, nothing much else to say. Um, I'm going to go my coffee now, and I will bid you all a very good afternoon.